Good morning, everyone. Phew. Getting all the stuff together and writing down lists of what you've all requested. Took me longer than I thought. So anyway, I think I've got everything by my side. I am surrounded. If you were to look at this table right now, I am surrounded by lipsticks, eyeliners, face palettes, blushes, you name it. Hello, good morning, Stacey. I've got my notebook with everybody's requests. Um, I'm just going to put, while well, I'm waiting for you all to join me, a bit of magic cream and a little bit of my mixture of foundation. Hello, good morning, Bushra. Um, so that we can get going. I've had a bit of a lie-in. I didn't sleep very well last night. So yeah, I'm still in my pyjamas. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I Do you know what? I just suddenly thought a live comparison swatch because that way everybody can ask me live rather than I put out a video and then people say, well, uh, you didn't do such and such. And then I've missed the opportunity. Good morning, Leslie. Oh, that magic cream definitely helps to bring your face alive. I was watching, by the way. Hello, Shahina. I was watching, um, you know, I'm going to forget her name again now. Oh, the, the woman that trained Charlotte Tilbury. Somebody help me with her name. <laughs> I'm really bad at name recall. A Mary, 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 Mary. Greenwell. I was watching her and she does what, I mean, I, I say she does what I do. I do what she does. Um, but I, it was it was so good because I've always talked about how I really massage my skin well. And when I did my first videos, I had quite a few comments about, whoa, you're going far too rough around your eyes. Um, and But I just believe in massage. And when I saw her video the other day, She's exactly the same. She really gets like doing this to get the circulation going in the face. And um, it just, I thought, yay, that's my theory too. Did you see my message? Are they aren't restocking the CT Velvet makeup bag. Oh no. Have a look on, I tell you what, um, have a look on eBay. Um, I was looking last night, a pillow talk, and I actually found a pillow talk bag. There's, uh, right, what happens is when people get things for Christmas that they don't want and they sell them on eBay, right? Um, and I got, there's a pillow talk bag. I don't remember it coming out, but it's like pink silk and it's got pillow talk written on it. Hello, Jennifer. And I actually bought one last night. I thought, oh, I've got to get that, put some of my pillow talk stuff in. So have a look on eBay. Just look up um, uh, Charlotte Tilbury makeup bags. And uh, there's loads of people that are selling the uh, Pillow Talk duo that she had at Christmas. You know, the mini set? Loads of people selling that on unused, unwanted Christmas present. Um, yeah, and I'll have a look for you as well. I didn't, I have to say, I didn't see the blue one on there when I looked, but... It's definitely worth um, having a look. Put blue Charlotte Tilbury makeup bag. Um, and it's a very good way if you want some Charlotte Tilbury. Some people that sell off the Christmas presents try and sell them higher than you get on the site, which I don't understand really why you do that, unless obviously it's been discontinued. Um, but yeah, I'm just, you know what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm taking my nail varnish off quickly while I'm talking to you because... My nails look disgusting. Right, they don't anymore. All right, I've got wipes to the ready. I've got everything to the ready. Now, um, let me just say hello to all of you. Good morning, Stacy, and good morning, Sunshine, and Bushra, and Annie, and Natasha, and Leslie, and Shahina, and Jennifer and Minnie and Leslie. Good morning. I've just had to switch off your other video to watch this. Got it free with Cult Beauty a couple of months ago. Did you? That sounds good. How did you manage to get that free? Was it in a kind of set? 
Right, what I'll do very quickly, because you don't want to watch me applying loads of makeup, but I've got my, I went a bit overboard yesterday with this. This was working, putting my little mixture in here, but yesterday I put more in and I thought, oh yeah, I'll put, put a bit more to last me a few more days and it sort of went everywhere. So it does work, this idea of putting your foundation in an old palette, but don't go overboard, otherwise it will start to leak out the side. You emailed them saying, they kept saying, not sure if we will stock. Um, why? I said, why have you got email when in stock on there? Oh, that's terrible. I think everybody is, I, I could get into a long rant about this, so I've got to rein myself in. But I've had a bit of a stressful week and I won't go into detail because you've come to do the swatch comparisons. But the theme of this week of my frustration is everybody has become so over-reliant on technology to tell them things that they've stopped using common sense. Um, so like they look on the computer and it, if it doesn't give them the answer, they say, we don't know. And if it does give them the answer, and yet the answer's not logical, they just regurgitate the answer. Um, or they say, we've emailed somebody. And people think now, we live in a society where if you've sent an email to someone, your job's done, in their opinion. You know, they've, they've bounced out an email, regardless of whether it's been read or actioned. Um, we've done our job, we've sent the email, Therefore, you need to go and ask the person we sent the email to. I just think society in general has become very lazy. And it just reminded me of that, uh, Stacey, that they look on a stock list and then just regurgitate what's on the stock list, even if it doesn't make sense or it doesn't tally in with their what they say they've got in stock. And it drives me up the wall. Because you're sitting there trying to reason with people using common sense. And these people are like, well, I've just checked and I've looked on here. And um, one of the comments I got this week, as I said, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just quickly putting my... One of the comments I got this week is the computer will correct itself. Right? Don't worry, the computer will correct itself. How's a computer going to correct itself from a mistake unless somebody's inputting the correction? You know, are we so stupid now that we live in that society that we actually think a computer can correct itself of a mistake? And we're just gradually becoming more and more lazy. Anyway, that's my rant over. That's been my week. Um, to do with all sorts of things, but mainly my medication, which they have messed up and continually getting wrong at my new doctor's and I've done everything. Oh, right in the text box. No, that didn't work. Come into the surgery, that didn't work. Anyway, as I said, I won't start ranting. But it just reminded me, Stacey, when you were saying about that, it just, things don't make sense, but... When you email someone, they just type something in on a computer and regurgitate what it says. Um, and nobody's sort of prepared to go above and beyond the call of duty anymore. Um, yeah, it's evident to see. I think our generation, um, you know, we, we grew up not relying on computers they were coming in but we didn't rely on them to check everything we had to go to libraries if we wanted to look things up and you know computers you had to spend about half an hour getting it to clear the screen it wasn't like click on something and it will give you tell you whether something's in Argos you had to go into Argos and ask <laughs> um and I just think people have become a bit lazy and not, there's not enough interaction with human beings 
to understand issues. Yeah. Exactly. You, sorry, Jess, you, you're a people person. Hang on. If I need something doing, I go see that person, but then I'm told I should do it by email. Yeah. Jobs are chopped up into small parts that only one person does, so they don't see the whole picture. And sometimes if you actually look, sorry, anyone that's just joining me for these swatches is going to get so annoyed in a minute. But sometimes if you actually look at a task and you see how it's been moved around, it's been sent to someone, they've emailed someone else and they've emailed and it's come back and no one's done anything. They've just sent the email round. Anyway, let's get on with these swatches. I just thought I'd put a bit of a base on and I'm not going to put eyeshadow on because you're all waiting to see the swatches. Now, I've got, I've managed to line up the contenders in my Charlotte Tilbury holder. Can't wait to get my new home so these can all be out on my vanity. Look at that. And these they don't sell these holders anymore and I've been looking on eBay for these and they're selling them. Do you know how much they're selling these for on eBay, these holders? Just the holders without the lipsticks in. £55. They were £15 to buy at Charlotte Tilbury a couple of years ago. And I got two of them. And they're now selling them for £55. So I'm not paying that because I wanted another one. <laughs> yeah, we're all... That's so true, Jennifer. We're all sitting at our computers nodding. But we're communicating, so that's all right. <laughs> right, now let's get these Pillow Talk products out so that I can swatch them for you. Let's start from there. And, um, and then we can go from there. I've still got half of them in their boxes. I do like the packaging, you see, it's all nice and pink and blush. But at some point, no doubt, I'll throw them out because it will fade and everything else. So that's medium. And then I'll get the lip liners out and the eyeliner. The eyeliner is in exactly the same packaging as the lip liners. Um, but obviously, when you open it up, it's brown, which is good. I thought, oh, no, because otherwise I can see myself putting lip liner on my eyes and eyeliner on my lips. Although, as I said, you could use this as a lip liner. It would be very nice and it would match the Intense lipstick. It is a very good match for the Intense. There's nothing to say that you can't use an eyeliner on your lips. Sometimes I'd be a bit cautious about doing it the other way around um, in case you've got sensitive eyes because it wasn't meant to go near your eyes. So a lip liner... Near, near your eyes, you might need to be a bit more careful about. But the other way around, don't see any problem. They are really pretty, aren't they? And I noticed on Really Ree's um, review that she got, you know, she got that beautiful vanity case with the pink box that actually the original Pillow Talk is now in the pink packaging as well because she had the original Pillow Talk in a in a box like that rather than the other one. Um, and all the, the Pillow Talk products have been moved. Oh, and this is the blush. So all the Pillow Talk, so the original blush is also, I think, in a box like this. Certainly was in Really Ree's uh, PR case, vanity case. But when you open it up, it's the same inside. I know, and uh, do you know what? That's why I was searching on eBay last night. I was seeing if anybody that got PR was selling off the vanity case. <laughs> Terrible me, but they, nobody's that mad. So excuse my bad hair day. Let's get on with this. So we have coming up, let's do the lip cheats first. And I need to get the original one as well. Where are you, original lip cheat? That would be helpful if I got that. Yes, there we are. So let's just swatch the original lip cheat on my arm. My arm is going to get full of swatches today. So that is the original lip cheat. I've got the light shining right on my arm, all ready for you, so that you can see that. Yep. 
Yes, the light ones are out on the 26th of February and the collagen lip bath is coming out on the 30th of January. Right, so that's the original lip, um, lip sheet. And then we have Pillow Talk Medium. So I'm going to swatch that next to next to here. Let me just do it first and then show you. That's bizarre. That's bizarre. That looks lighter than the original. How bizarre. That's because... Sorry, guys. Actually, though, that's quite interesting. That wasn't pillow talk. The first one wasn't pillow talk. The first one was Super Size Me. Okay, so I actually suspected that they may be quite close. So that's Super Size Me. That's Pillow Talk Medium. Let me now get Pillow Talk. I was thinking, what's going on? Right, let me put Pillow Talk this side. I'll put it in between um, Super Size Me and Pillow Talk Medium. Right. Super Size Me, Pillow Talk Original, Pillow Talk Medium. Okay, so actually Super Size Me has got a little bit more red in it. This is actually more of a true medium version of Pillow Talk. But I often used Super Size Me um, as a medium form of Pillow Talk on my lips because Pillow Talk is a little bit too fair for me. And then let's do Pillow Talk Intense. So I'll put that underneath. My hair that's molted onto my arm. Right. And as you can see, that is a lot darker and it's quite brown. And I was wondering how that compared to Foxy Brown. So I'm going to swatch all the lip liners in a minute because I was asked, can I swatch them all? So why not? Um, let me just get Foxy Brown. Ooh, that's because I just, uh, the, the light's doing weird things because I moved out of the, the screen. Right, here's Foxy Brown. Let's put Foxy Brown next to this um, intense one. Oh, that's very close. Foxy Brown is slightly lighter. You see? Foxy Brown. That's the one that Charlotte uses to paint in... Um, to paint in, well, she used to use it to paint in freckles, but I saw her using the um, eyeliner to paint the freckles in. It's very interesting. I'm going to just swatch this eyeliner. I know we haven't moved on to eyeliners yet, but I'm going to put that across the top just to show you that it's not a lip liner. It's very interesting that this eyeliner is is a perfect match for the intense lipstick. Right, shall I carry on doing lip liners from Charlotte Tilbury range or do you want to see the lipsticks first? So knowing what order to do things in. Let's have a look and see what you're all saying. Carry on doing the lip liners and lipsticks. All right, I'll do both. Don't worry, the lipsticks are coming up. I'll swatch these very quickly. So we've got... Um, I'm going to move that and that out of the way. So I haven't got... That's pillow talk. That's pillow talk. That's pillow talk. That's supermodel. Super size me, I mean. Okay, right. This is Hollywood Honey. This one's a brownie one as well, which is why I wanted to do it next. Okay, now Hollywood Honey might be a good match for the Intense because some people don't like... The Intense lip liner is a lot darker 
than the actual lipstick. And some people don't like to have a darker lip liner. So that might be a good contender because it looks quite similar to that. That might be a good one to line the um, intense pillow talk lipstick with if you don't like to have the darker brown liner. Uh, um, as um, I think it was Terry, I can't remember if I've got this wrong, said that she liked the fact that it was darker because it makes your lips look plumper, which is a very good comment. It does, but not everybody likes um, not everybody likes that. Not everybody likes to have a darker sort of contrasting lip line. Some people like to match it rather than do that. So that might be a good contender. So that is Hollywood Honey. Okay. And then we have, let's do Iconic Nude. Right, there's Iconic Nude. So that's a lot browner than the Pillow Talk liners. A lot more kind of browns in that. Okay, Iconic Nude. Right, put that to that side. Then we have Bond Girl. Now, I think Stacey was saying that she was quite disappointed that Bond Girl looked exactly the same as Medium pillow talk so let us see what the liners are like so that is medium pillow talk there this one looks like it's got a bit more red in it in terms of the lip liner that doesn't necessarily mean the same with the lipsticks see that looks like it's got slightly more of a purple undertone, a cooler undertone. This looks a bit warmer. So I'd be interested to do that lipstick comparison. Okay, and then we've got um, Walk of Shame. Okay, Walk of Shame looks a lot redder. Um, so I don't think that that really compares. My line, my swatch line is getting very wonky. <laughs> so what have we got here? Just for the sake of it, there's Crazy in Love. I don't think Crazy in Love is going to compare much to it. But you never know. No, that's more pink. Sort of pinky red. And then we have Hot Gossip. I really should have bought my sharpener before I started filming. Some of these are in need of, that's Hot Gossip. So that again is, is more brown toned. These are the Pillow Talk. So that, just to remind you, that's Pillow Talk. That's Super Size Me, Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk Medium and Pillow Talk Intense. Okay, so those are the ones that we're comparing it with. Okay, and then we shall get on to, this one is Bad Romance. This is the darkest um, lip liner that she does. And I think it's even, yeah, it's purple. It's beautiful, but it's not going to compare with this one. Although on the website, they look quite close, but they're not. You can see, so that's Bad Romance. That's Pillow Talk Intense. Definitely don't compare. Then we have, what have we got next? Pink Venus. Coming up. That's more of a coral. So that's not going to compare. I might screenshot this before I start wiping them off. Because I'm going to run out of room soon. Okay, and then we have, oh, that's another pillow talk. Right, very naughty. I'm just going to move this a bit further up. Again, very naughty is, 
I've moved the wrong way. <laughs> There's Berry Naughty. So again, it's more, it's more of a dark magenta than any of these. So that doesn't compare. Right, I need to swatch the other way. I'm trying to keep everything away from the pillow talk um, ones, otherwise I'm gonna get totally confused. Here we've got Love Trap. There's Love Trap. Again, that's tawny compared to these. Come on, Ali. Put it up there. <laughs> Don't start on me, light. Okay, so that one is a lot more tawny, brownie undertone. And then this, I'm just throwing it in for the sake of you seeing it, really. This one is, um, I forgot the name of it, Kiss and Tell, but that's more for red. I've got my wonky swatch. I keep trying to straighten it and I keep going the wrong way. That's more of your classic red. What have we got left? We have got Savage Rose. And I've got a very old limited edition lip liner in here that they don't sell anymore and it's dried up, but I just kept it to compare swatches. But here's Savage Rose. Let me just work out here. There, there we go. Savage Rose. Again, that is not going to compare to these. It's more of a darker, reddier kind of lip liner. And then the one that I kept just for swatching purposes, but is dried up, is um, Bitten Kiss, which came out with Legendary Muse. Yes, yes, well done. Who just said, was it the limited edition Bitten Kiss? Yes, Mini. Let's have a look. Let's swatch that up here. It's it's so dry, it's falling apart. Let me just... There's no way that I could actually wear this anymore. It's just to get the colour. I'm having to really sort of press hard to get any colour out of it. There. Quite similar. Quite similar. Possibly was quite like Pillow Talk. Because this did come out before Pillow Talk lip liner so um definitely on that kind of hue you can see though it's kind of crumbled away as i've been putting it on so those are all the lip liners i don't think i'm going to be able to get the lipsticks on at the same time let me just screenshot me doing this if i can how can i do that and hold and hold my arm up at the same time Let's see. Just about managed it. Okay. So those are all the lip liners. I'm going to wash those off, but I can always put some of the Pillow Talk liners back on um, in a minute if you need me to actually put them next to the lipsticks. Oh, please work. I've got hand wipes. I'm not sure that they're going to take my makeup off. I might, I know what I'll do. Put a little bit of magic cream on my arm because these hand wipes haven't got enough um, emollients in them to actually take the, the lip liner off. I should have got some makeup wipes down with me. No worries, Deborah. I hope that was helpful. I don't... Oh, no, Bit and Kiss has come off. I was afraid that one might not come off. <laughs> right, yes, we've managed to get those off. Okay, so let's do some lipstick swatches now. There you go. They've all gone. My arm's a little bit red, but I think that's not because they're 
I'm allergic to them. It's the, some of the red dye is just stained a bit. Right, now, let us look at the Pillow Talk ones. And I forgot to get the original. Right, here's Pillow Talk original. And I'm doing it deliberately on the lightest part of my arm. Okay, so I'll try and keep the swatches straight this time. Start a bit further along. So that's Pillow Talk original on the lightest part of my arm. So then I'm going to show you Pillow Talk medium. Now, I think it's a little bit misleading calling it medium because I think it's really more than medium. It kind of gives you the impression that it's a little bit darker than Pillow Talk and I think it's a lot darker. Let's just show you. So there's the medium. Yeah, I'll do that. Don't worry, Deborah. Okay, and then the intense. Let me show you the intense. I this I just love this. I'm totally can you see how buttery it looks? It, and it feels so nice on the lips. I just wish she'd done the medium in that as well, in the kissing formula. Because, uh, no, you know when she brought out the um, Hot Lips 2? Um, and I commented that all the dark ones were matte revolution and the fair ones were kissing. She doesn't do a lot of dark ones in the kissing formula. She does a few. There's things like um, Night Crimson and so Marilyn, but there aren't that many in the kissing formula. Um, anyway, let me just swatch this. So this is the intense. All right, and I'm gonna swatch the lip liners next to them so you can see. So let's get Pillow Talk Original. I might just put it right round the side. So that's Pillow Talk Original Lip Liner. Slightly darker. No worries, Bushra. I really like to be helpful because that helps you to decide. You know, I can't do anything but online shopping. So um, I know that it's useful for people that can't get, get to a Charlotte Tilbury store. Okay, now I'm gonna put the medium next to the medium. It's interesting, that one looks slightly lighter, but quite a good match. So that's medium next to medium. And I'm going to screenshot this as well, if I can. And then intense next to intense. See, to me, they don't match at all. But I'm going to just now quickly throw in the Rock and Coal in Pillow Talk. If I can find it. Where have you gone? What have I done with you? There it is. Sorry. Right. They don't match at all. But they do give the appearance of a fuller lip. But if you see, I'm just going to swatch this over again. So that you know it's not a lip liner. This is the Rock and Coal in Pillow Talk. And I think it's a perfect match, almost. Maybe not completely perfect. Oh, let me do it at the top. Done it the wrong side. See, so the eyeliner actually is a good match for the intense lipstick. I think... Uh, a lot of uh, of women of colour have got 
a kind of darker lip liner line, haven't they? And I just think it just it does make the lips look fuller if you do a darker lip line, and then you you can get a really lovely ombre effect. So if you put the lip liner on and then you get a little tiny brush and smudge it in, you will get the appearance of fuller look, fuller lips. <laughs> but can you see how that matches perfectly? So you could use the rock and coal on your lips. There's nothing to say you can't because everybody all together now. Pigment is... I'm waiting. Come on, ladies. Well done, Sunshine. I was going to say, I'm not going to carry on until you say it. Now, I would say if you really want a lip cheat and you don't like the idea of putting your eyeliner on your lips for hygiene reasons or whatever, I think from what I was just swatching, I would say... Hollywood Honey is going to be a good match. Let me put Hollywood Honey the other side. Yes. Hollywood Honey. Still a little bit darker, but I think that would look lovely if you don't like the idea of the brown. All right. Can you see that? Hollywood Honey. I'm just going to screenshot that with one handed. There we go. And then I can keep those on, can't I? Because you, you want to do some comparisons. Now let's look at Bond Girl. I want to look at Bond Girl and Supermodel. You were shouting pigment. <laughs> Right, here is Bond Girl. Mm, I wouldn't say it's exactly the same, but I, it is close, definitely, but it's not exactly the same. I'm just looking at it. I think that, that this is, is more tawny. It's, got, it's a bit more muted than Bond Girl. Bond Girl has got a bit more... I'm trying to get it into to the light. Can you see that? It is close, definitely, but it's not identical. Does it? I want to look at supermodel. Because I always use Supermodel um, for a pillow talk look on my skin tone. And I've also got the other super ones. Because I thought, let's have a look at the other super ones. So, super, I don't think it would be super sexy, but maybe super 90s. Right, this is Supermodel. Now, I think Supermodel looks very close supermodel to the medium very very close indeed and that's what i mean why if she put these out she's got so many of these kinds of shades in matte revolution i don't understand why she didn't release the medium one in the kissing formula because this is a beautiful formula and she hasn't got that many kissing formulas in these shades they're all matte revolutions so if she'd done that i think she would have avoided these comparisons that people said well i've got a lipstick that looks identical because some people would say well it doesn't matter because it's a kissing formula and i prefer kissing or actually no i'm going to go for matte so I think it would have avoided this, but they are very close, I think. Supermodel. Let's have a campaign. Bring the medium one out as a kissing formula, because I would definitely buy it. I'm overwhelmed by that formula of the kissing one in the dark shade. 
It looks so, my, my catchphrase, right? So you've heard it here first. Charlotte, don't steal it off me. Dreamy and creamy. Really, really it is. That's the way, that's going to be my catchphrase. Pillow Talk Intense is dreamy and creamy and I love it. I just wish she'd bought it out in the medium. Right. Now, somebody else, I'm looking through my notes. Now, we had a request for Viva La Vagara, which, again, I can see why. Some very good observations from you all this morning. You all know your Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, that's Viva La Vagara. Again, they're very similar, but I would say this one, again, is it's very like Bond Girl as well. Um, it's just got a bit more red in it, but they are very similar. So if you've got Viva La Vagara, Bond Girl or um, Supermodel, you've got something quite close to Pillow Talk Medium. Right, so that's Viva La Vagara. And the other one I was I was asked about was, well, there were a few. Um, I was asked about Very Victoria. I think this is quite a bit lighter, to be honest. But we shall see. Yes, that's quite a bit lighter. Sorry, this light keeps flashing back on my arm similar kind of tones I think the closest in terms of the undertones is supermodel which doesn't surprise me because that's what they were using I've I've seen tutorials where Sophia has used supersize me and supermodel instead of pillow talk on sort of medium to darker skinned models. And I've always thought that that's the medium version of. And now um, somebody else asked about Glowing Jen. Was that Deborah? Right, Glowing Jen coming up. Actually, I was saying, oh, no, that's a lot lighter, but it's it's not, actually. Hang on. I'm trying to work out where I'm... My swatches are getting funny again. Let me just do... Because I know there was a couple of requests for Glowing Gen next to Medium, so let me just put that up there. It's got more of a red background to it than this has got more of a pink, but similar. I thought that that was going to be a lot lighter, but it's not. So well done to whoever asked for that, because I just assumed it would be a lot lighter and it really isn't. Um, we've done Viva La Vagara, very Victoria. Sorry, it's because when I get too close to the camera, Let's do Walk of Shame. I don't think looking at the the um, lip liners, I'm going to run out of room in a minute. Charlie is going to be saying, Ali's got lipstick all over her arm. Hello, Charlie. If you're watching, my youngest fan. This is Walk of Shame. Now, if you were to show that to a man, so why have you got all those lipsticks? They all look the same to me. I'm sorry, I'm stereotyping about a man. I'm talking about my man. My man would definitely say, you've got 10 lipsticks that all look exactly the same. Because unless the one is bright red and the other one is brown and the other one is bright pink, he would say they all look the same. Hello, Stacey. Oh, hello, Charlie. Look, I'm putting lipstick on my arm. Silly Ali. Oh, 
Thank you. I'm glad. We've got hubbies that would all say the same. I'm just thinking there are some makeup artists that are men that wouldn't say that, and I'm being unfair. I don't like to, I don't like to stereotype, but let's just say our hubbies then. Right, and I thought I'd look at Birkin Brown, but I think. I'm running out of arm space here. Where can I put it? All right, I'll put this here. Birkin Brown. Let's let's do this. Birkin Brown. That looks actually. I tell you what. That looks like. It looks like a matte revolution version of the intense. Very similar. Doesn't it? Perhaps a bit more brown in that one. This has got a little bit more red underneath it. It's not completely brown, it's a slight red undertone to it. And the other ones that I wanted to look at were um, Super 90s. Let's do Super 90s up here. And Jack's coming down the stairs. He's going to come and say hello to you. Jack, I'm doing a live. You can come and say hello if you want. So are there any that I've missed out that you were desperate to see? If so, speak up now. Did I do Bond Girl? I did, didn't I? That was the first one. Uh, Birkin Brown. Gla I put Glastonbury here as well. But I think that's going to be, let's put, have a look at Glastonbury. No, <laughs> that's too purple. Right, let's see what you're saying. Charlie said he's an Ali Pally as well. Oh, lovely. Oh, Natasha's saying hello, Jack. Hello. Secret Salma. Oh, no, you're not asking to say hello. Look, I've got an armful of makeup. And my youngest viewer, Charlie, is saying, why has that lady got my lipstick all over her arm? Jack, do you think... Aren't I your youngest viewer? No, you're not. Charlie's, about... uh, Charlie's three, I think. Now, Jack, <laughs> tell me, do they all look the same to you? No. No. Which one do you think is closest to that one? So I'm asking him which is closest to Pillow Talk Medium. If, if I can remember what I swatched. Yeah, do you know what? He's picked the same one as me. That one, he said. Hang on. This one he pointed out, which is Supermodel. I saw it and I just had a long thought. What about, about the dark one? Which one do you think is closest to the dark one? Which one? This one here. Um, I would say like this one or this one. Yeah, I think you're right. So he's saying this one. Can anyone remember what that one was? <laughs> I'll have to play it back later. That one. <laughs> Can anyone remember what that one was? I think he's right. That one he said is closest to the intent. Right. Can I take these off my arm now? Let me do a little screenshot. Mm -hmm. With Jack's balloon in the background. Sorry, press the wrong button. Right, there we go. So I'm going to get these off my arm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you wanted eyeliners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's been making his granddad laugh. Look at that. The lip liners are very good at lasting. This is why if you, if you actually 
line your lips and fill them in with the lip liner. Can you see how it helps your lipstick to last longer? Mm -hmm. Because the lipsticks came off pretty quickly. But these, and that's the rock and coal. Look at that. I'm doing that with the white. And I'm really, I'm really pressing hard now. That eyeliner is pretty impressive. Uh-huh. Can you do an eye look, Ali, if you have time? And how is your dad? Um, my dad is, he started to sing. They're talking about discharging him and we're all a bit stressed here because... Tell just to because the national anthem. but yes he was um he, no well he was actually it's almost the national anthem of fiji we sang him a fijian um farewell song and he started singing with us he could, couldn't mouth the words but he got the pitch and the rhythm totally right so you know music is the universal language that overcomes all impairment I thought it, was it was great awesome we had too. such a great time all right, let me do a quick eye look. Shall I do? I'll tell you what I'll do first. Is I'm just going to put some of this Pillow Talk eyeliner on first so that you can see it without um, <coughs> without any eyeshadow. So let me just put some of this on. Oh, yes. Remember when we used to live in the flat? And you used to tell me to come off my games because the Wi-Fi wasn't good there. Yeah. <laughs> Every stream you were just like, Jack, can you come off the games for like an hour? But now, but now I can just stay on them. Exactly. And we used to have chats like this because you were, you and I were stuck in the same room. When he gets discharged, it won't be here because he needs he needs a lot more care than than I'm able to. Like in terms of he's not that mobile. Sadly. Sadly, at the moment, but we never know. Like we can visit him. Exactly, we're gonna visit him and he's gonna he's gonna be somewhere near to us, which will be nice. Thank you, Shahina. So that is the rock and coal. So you can see it on its own. Can you see why I think it would look good on green eyes? Mm -hmm. Yes, I will do the eyeshadow that I put on last night. Let me just do do a yeah, matching. It would look good on green eyes. It would, wouldn't it, Jack? Because I think the red would contrast mm. with the green. You ever thought of becoming a makeup artist, Jack? No, never in my life. And no. I never will. <laughs> but you've got a good eye for it. Yeah, and I've also got a good eye for art. What's your point? Yeah, no, well, all I'm saying is that you're going to be the best boyfriend that any girl's ever had. Because you'll say, oh, yeah, I think actually you'd suit bitch perfect lipstick. And will she say, are you calling me a bitch? <laughs> well you can't actually review Bitch Perfect on Charlotte Tilbury's website because it says it contains a profanity and we won't post it so you can't actually call it Bitch Perfect when you review it on her site how silly is that so I'll call it Bench Perfect Ah, oh, Jess says when she has children I would like a son like Jack would you like him shall I send no! him home <laughs> he does have a good sense of humour. Thank but he needs it with me offering him up on YouTube, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. If child social services are watching, I didn't mean it. I love him to bits. I'd never give him away in a million years. Mm -hmm. Right, let me do the look quickly that I was doing yesterday. I'm, I think there were a few other things about the uh, face palettes, but I think... This video could be three hours long if it's not been already. So um, I'm just going to finish off and do this eye look that I did yesterday because uh, I had a couple of people saying that they liked it on me. And what did I do? 
So let me just get a couple of eye brushes and we will. And I did put a little bit of the um, Fenty Beauty eye primer on. So if I can find that, I shall put some, yes, this little mini eye primer I put on before I got going, Aww. which helps it to last. Pops. Did you pop your balloon? Yeah, with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I was just going to... Have you missed Jack chatting away like this in the background, ladies? Because now we've got more room. What the? He's normally... What, would the intense blush and intense lipstick be nice on fair? What the hell is this? I think so. I think it does look... It's, it depends on your preference. I don't know, Jack, but can you just... Oh, my God, I think that's spit... Uh, it's frozen spit inside the balloon. I don't think it is, darling. It looks like spit. All right, calm down, Jack. I'm doing a video, remember? A live, you mean? Yes. I remember now Why? how distracting it was. <laughs> right, so that's the Fenty, Fenty Beauty eye primer. So what I did is I just took the um, enhanced shade from the date eye, which is here. This one here. And I put that, first of all, I put that in my socket. This is too quiet. All right, then we'll speak. I don't think you could mess up my hair any more than it already is, so. Yeah, I can. Because I am. I'll never give a child a challenge. <laughs> hey, there you go. Thank you, Jack. That's you really that nice of you. you the rest of the wine. And then I put some of the darker smoke shades. We're now going for the grunge look. And I put some of that in the corner. And then I straightened out my hair. Oh, and then I took the day, the day look, this one here, oh, yeah, the enhanced shade. Normal. Let me tape it up. No, now. Jack, come on now. And I just pop that over my mobile lid with my finger. Jack. And then I'm not sure whether or not I did this, but I think I might have just taken the darker one here. Not sure if I did this or not. This one here, I just put popped a bit of that in that outer corner. And then I warmed it up a little bit with this one in the socket. But it's generally it's that it's this shade here that's that's on the on the mobile lid. So that is the enhanced shade of the day eye. And then just get a smudge brush and put some of that and some of the matte mixed together underneath. And 
and always I love using my fingers to do the final blend. And then finally, just take the highlighter shade and pop it in the usual places. There. 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 And there. I'm such a bad influence on you all. Okay, so that is it. Mom? Yes? Are you a bad influence on me? Yes. Well, you're a bad influence on me. Bad ones. <laughs> okay, so shall I just put some intense lips lipstick on? Let's put the pillow talk intense on. Actually, no, let's put the rock and coal lip the rock and coal eyeliner on as a lip liner. Where are you? Here you are. Oh, and you want the blush on, don't you? I'll do the blush and then I better go. I mean, come off my live. We'll see. Right, pillow talk intense, please. Here we are. See, my lips are quite dry this morning, so they need this. So that's it with the rock and coal as a lip liner instead of the, the actual brown lip liner. And then I shall take the um, blush, Pillow Talk Intense, which is here. So it could be used as a bit of a bronzer. It's got quite a lot of a red tone in it. Where is my blush brush? It should be here somewhere around me. No, I'll have to use my bronzing brush if I can't find it. Where are you, blush brush? There you are. Would you like some blush on, Jack? Mm hmm Yes? <laughs> what, you want to see what it looks like on um, very fair skin tones? Mm hmm Yeah? Yeah. No, hang on. It's too light there. Draw back a bit. There you go. If you're very, if you're fairer than me, go on then, Jack, model it. Oops. Ah, what the hell? That... I said hell. Yeah, it doesn't look any different. <laughs> there you go, the best critic there is. Yes, it does. Just looks a little bit... Right, do you want some of the pop on? It yeah. looks like I have Let acne. me put the pop on. Okay, it looks like I have acne. Uh, draw back, draw back. Okay, now that looks like something. His dad will go mad if he thinks I'm putting makeup on him. <laughs> Mini Wayne Goss. Possibly, I would say he's more of a mini Daniel Sandler. Because <laughs> I love Daniel. <laughs> so that's the blush and you can see the liner and that's it I'll finish the look and I'll post the final look later 
Shall I order the blush and intense lipstick? Stacey, you know I can't tell you whether or not to do that. <laughs> but I think if you're asking me, you know the answer. I just look at this shine. I just love the shine on this lipstick. And you can always blot it down if it feels a bit dark for you. Just hold on a second. Let me get a piece of tissue. And then I really will have to go and get on with my day. Oops. Obviously, if you blot it down, you're going to take some of the shine off. But... See? Doesn't look that intense. All right, have a lovely day, everyone. If I've missed any of your comments, I will have a look back later and see. And um, I've covered most of the things that were on my list. Um, some of the things I haven't done yet, but I'll try and cover them in the next few days. All right, take care. Have a lovely weekend. Love you all. Mwah! Say goodbye, Jack. Bye.